Hey, Internet. It's producer Steve. Matt. We're here to talk about uh, the Last Jedi trailer that dropped a little while ago. You've probably already seen it if you're a big Star Wars fan. Uh, just some, some thoughts we had on watching it. So, uh, you know, it, just real quick to recap it. Uh, it opens with Luke's voice. We didn't hear Luke's voice at all in Episode 7. So we finally get to hear him talk. Unless they're going to pull what they did before with, you know... Oh, true. With uh, one and Force Awakens, where yeah. they we saw a lot of stuff in the trailer. That I was mean, not in the film. I mean, Maybe Luke's not even in this film. Let's go back to the, the teaser for Force Awakens. That, oh, oh, I mean, the shot that like made me like, what? Was the shot of Kylo in the snow forest right. like, igniting the saber and Filling like stumbling behind, a little right? bit. Uh, that shot looked awesome. It was not in the movie. It was not in the movie. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Or so, Rogue One, the awesome shot when... She's on the catwalk, and the TIE fighter flies up in front of her. It's like, oh, my God. So, is it how is she going to pop? Nope, not in the not in the So, we could be discussing things that are legitimately not. There's like a 20, 25% chance that the stuff that's in there is not going to be in the movie. So yeah, if they're watching, that. you probably shouldn't do that. I mean, why not just throw Superman in there? <laughs> yeah, I think... No, I mean, you had nothing to do with the film. He's not in it. Yeah, no, it was... Uh, just for the trailer to get your attention. It was weird it was how Jack Nicholson was there. Yeah. And, um, Great. It was really cool. Hope you see the film. You got the Avengers. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, okay, anyway. Um, so, the, if that stuff's in the movie, um, uh, we we see that uh, Ray has a force vision, basically, it seems like. Basically, she's in training. Luke is training her. As part of the training, she has this vision. She sees the light, the dark, the balance. She sees, in the when she's talking about the light, it looks like she is seeing the back of Leia's head as Leia's looking at a kind of a hologram map. Uh, in the dark, she sees Kylo's destroyed mask. It's also smoking a little bit, yeah. as though it was just <clears throat> destroyed. Yeah. Um, so that it has that thought of, I mean, maybe he has like a ton of, maybe it's like, oh, this is my Monday mask. <laughs> and then he puts another one on. But somehow he's, you know, upset that he was defeated, even right. though, you know, whatever. All right, so there's that. Then the balance, and this is really interesting. We see, I had a hard time distinguishing it at first. I had to watch it a few times to go, uh, oh, books. That's what it is. And it's like a bookshelf. Uh, there's a bookshelf built into what looks like a like a tree trunk or something. Hmm. The thing is, it's like, it's not that many books. It's like, oh, you've got five books. Great. And then we see that there's somebody, probably Luke. We don't, we just see a hand uh, looking at parchment. And there's the uh, like the old Jedi symbol is on this page. I think that page is on one of those books that we're seeing in the bookshelf, and that those books are probably on Octu, the the water planet. Uh, and this is maybe why Luke went to this planet in the first place. He went to the old. This is like an old Jedi temple, and maybe this is where the the the, the original teachings of the Jedi are. So he's found them. Again, if that scene is even in the new film. If that scene is even in the new film. Correct. You know, Correct. Those maybe... books could be like, good night, moon. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Good night, moon. Oh. <laughs> so, um, uh, so there's that. Then they kind of cut to like lots of action shots. We see like Poe Dameron. He's in the rebel base and his ship's getting blown up. We see BB-8. We see uh, Finn is alive. I mean, no, no way. No way doubted that. I mean, but he's he's getting some kind of a medical treatment like a new type of back to tank or something uh we see kylo ignited saber we see ray with the saber now the coolest shot is actually the long distance helicopter shot of ray practicing with her lightsaber yeah. while luke looks on it reminded me a lot of uh highlander uh there's a in that movie you see sean connery uh highlander the, too don't talk about it a little shout out to no Theron. one that, that. You know. No one talks about Highlander 2. Now, one thing that's interesting, uh, one of the shots uh, we see, it's on a new planet. It's You see these, what they call, I think, them skimmers. Um, and they're they're going across and they're kicking up red dust. And they're going, and you see, like, these uh, walkers in the distance. Maybe the gorilla walkers they've talked about. Um, so that planet is called Crate, uh, according to the director uh, it's got, uh, it used to be a base, uh, uh, an alliance, a rebel alliance base. It's kind of out, it's remote. And what's 
I, I had to look this up, so I didn't like. I'm not like, oh, genius! I figured this out, but uh, I didn't know at first what that red dust was. Was it, was it a flare? Are they trying to send up like signals to people? But that red dust is actually a mineral that's it's mined from this planet, and it's just underneath a layer of salt on the planet. So those skimmers, when they have whatever, I don't know the purpose, but when when uh, they're they're dragging something along the ground, they're dragging through the through the salt and kicking up the red dust underneath. Maybe they're trying to make a smoke screen. That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe they're being chased by something behind them, and so they're kicking up a smoke screen. I don't know why they would put this in a trailer. This makes no sense. It sounds like something that could be used in a farming video, right? <laughs> I mean, why is this... Minerals and you! See? Da, 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 da. I don't know. On the move! We're great! Get to know us! No, but, well, um, I, I just hope that they... It seemed kind of hoffish as well, I would yeah, say that. I just hope that they do something good with this film. To be honest, I'm not really looking forward to it. Now, Producer Steve, Sorry. you are a gloomy Gus. Yeah, I am. The last thing is, uh, probably the most provocative, is Luke saying, I know one truth... The Jedi must right. end. Now, here's my thought on that. Either he's saying that to mean that, or because it's a trailer. And I'm not being funny here. Maybe they clipped off the first part of the sentence. Oh, sure. Out of context. Kylo Ren says, says the Jedi must end. Insert video edit here. All the Jedi must end. Right. So is right. Luke saying, you know what? They all need to die. So... Ray, I'm going to kill you right now. He has been on the island for quite some time. He has. His mind he's, is a His little, mind is gone. He's a hermit. <laughs> that would be funny. There's, I know one truth. The Jedi must end. Oh, no. I mean, uh, uh, Sith. Sorry. <laughs> Sith end. What did I say? Jedi? <laughs> what am I, an idiot? Okay, sorry. It's been a while. I haven't talked to people. Forgive me. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. Where <laughs> he says that. Or they left out part of the sentence. Everyone's getting all crazy, like, oh, Luke's going to kill the Jedi, which is Rey and Finn, and, oh, Luke says we all need to die, let's kill ourselves. No, I think I they there, left right. it out. I think they left out the beginning of that sentence. Um, you heard it here first. Producer Steve is throwing out the uh, Luke suicide pack theory. That's my, that's my prediction. <laughs> I think that it's relating back to a concept... From the <laughs> cartoon, but um, Rebels uh, threw out this notion of they had a character in the last season called the Bendu. Um, and the Bendu says, like, there's Jedi and Sith, I'm the one in the middle. And he kind of espouses this kind of like neutrality. Hey, look, that's cool. I, all things can exist and be happy in harmony. I'm going to guess that. When Luke goes back and finds these old writings in on Atu, the Jedi, the original intent of the Jedi, he's going to determine that the Jedi are supposed to somewhat acknowledge that, you know, there is a dark side. They don't necessarily espouse it, but they can at least acknowledge it, understand it, so then they're more in the middle, basically. Mm. And so that he's going to say, the Jedi have to end... I'm still going to train you, and we're still going to be good people, and we're still going to do our best to help the galaxy, but we're not going to be called Jedi so much anymore. We're going to move in the way that the maybe the original intent was. That's a good idea. So that's uh, that's kind of my, my thoughts on... So it's more philosophical as opposed to, let's go kill Finn. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think we can get Chewy while he's asleep. Um, maybe he thinks by changing the name, they'll throw off Kylo Ren. Oh, we're not Jedi. Yeah, I'm not Jedi. No, we're talking about. Oh. No, we're we're called the we're called the not Jedi's. <laughs> uh, they're down the street. I think you want to next next plan it over. Uh, one shot you do see is uh, you see the Millennium Falcon, um, and it's not in space. It's kind of back, you know, in the atmosphere of a planet. Mm -hmm. It's possible that that planet is Octu, which might mean that there's like a big battle on Octu. In other words, the Empire, not the Empire, but the First Order figures out that's where Luke is. Kylo and company mm -hmm. show up with ships 
and there's a big fight, and then you know da, da, da. that could be pretty cool. Which they're going to do the classic, which I'm not against this, but this is their formula. There's going to be a battle on the ground. There's yeah. going to be a battle in space, and then there's going to be a lightsaber battle with Luke and Ray, maybe Finn, with Kylo and. The Knights of Red. That's what's going to happen. We well, to remember Snoke is also somehow involved in all this. Right. There's going to be this big lightsaber battle on the ground on the, the Michael Island. I can't remember what it's called. Well, Octu in the, in the movie. In the movie yeah. yeah. Um, space battle. Always got to have the space battle while there's a lightsaber battle going on. And there's going to be a ground battle as well, just like in Jedi. Now, it always works. I'm not making fun of it. It always works, and it's great. So As that's, long as it has Jar Jar. The yeah, and that's what's going to happen. And of course, Jar Jar hanging off a cannon. That's awesome. <clears throat> there's going to be some Death Star being built, of course. Hopefully not, but this time for real. Hey, don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the Dork Lords. Thank you, Producer Steve. <laughs>